Hello everyone, thank you for visiting Catholic Daily Readings. Today is August 6, 2020. Please join me as I start with a prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord God, let us worship you today with our thoughts, words, and hearts. Amen. First reading. A reading from the book of Nahum. See upon the mountains there advances the bearer of good news, announcing peace. Celebrate your feasts, O Judah, fulfill your vows, for never more shall you be invaded by the scoundrel. He is completely destroyed. The Lord will re restore the vine of Jacob, the pride of Israel. Though ravagers have ravaged them and ruined the tendrils, Woe to the bloody city, all lies, full of plunder, whose looting never stops. The crack of the whip, the rumbling sounds of wheels, horses a gallop, chariots bounding, cavalry charging, the flame of the sword, the flash of the spear, the many slain, the heaping corpses, the endless bodies to stumble upon. I will cast filth upon you, disgrace you, and put you to shame, till everyone who sees you runs from you, saying, Nineveh is destroyed. Who can pity her? Where can one find any to console her? The Word of the Lord. Respond, sorry, O Psalm. Please respond. It is I who deal death and give life. It is I who deal death and give life. Close at hand is the day of their disaster, and their doom is rushing upon them. Surely the Lord shall do justice for his people. On his servants he shall have pity. It is I who deal death and give life. Learn then that I alone am God, and there is no God besides me. It is I who bring both death and life, I who inflict wounds and heal them. It is I who deal death and give life. I will sharpen my flashing sword, and my hand shall lay hold of my quiver. With vengeance I will repay my foes and requite those who hate me. It is I who deal death and give life. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Alleluia, alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. What profit would there be for one to gain the whole world? and forfeit his life? Or what can one give in exchange for his life? For the Son of Man will come with his angels in his Father's glory, and then he will repay each according to his conduct. Amen, I say to you, there are some standing here who will not taste death until they see the Son of Man coming in his kingdom. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Even if we do not have much in this world, we have to remember that God is everything. Being with God in heaven is worth more than everything you could possibly want on earth. We want to be with God, but since none of us has felt what it's like to truly be with God in heaven, we fall short in our surpassed by things, things we believe or feel are more important or have more significance than being, being with our Lord in heaven. It's different for everyone. Maybe for some people it's money, for some people it could be work, for some people it could be school or life at home. 
but we need to put this aside and be with God. Jesus wants us to not be selfish and to put him in front of everything. It's not good to be selfish, so God wants us to be humble and not put ourselves before him. We have to be able to believe and know that God has everything under control. Thank you for listening. Please subscribe and please remember to live life in Christ together.